welcome to A Level History. We're going to talk to you about why you should choose to do uh, our subject at A Level. So, what does the course entail? Uh, there are three components that make up the A Level. Component one is the breadth study, which is the Tudors. So, you look at uh, England between 1485 and 1603. Uh, component two is the depth study, that's democracy and Nazism in Germany between 1918 and 1945. And then component three is the historical investigation, which is a personal study of approximately 100 years. Um, and as you can see on the PowerPoint, it gives you the breakdown of how much the course is made up. So you get four lessons a week in total. Okay, so the first component then is the Brett study, which is the Tudors. And it's looking at England from 1485 to 1603. So part one is the consolidation um, of the Tudor dynasty looking at England from 1485 to 1547 and this is your year 12 half of the um, Tudor course. We look at Henry VII, the founder of the Tudor dynasty from 1485 to 1509. We look at his consolidation of power. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> we look at his consolidation of power, government, relationships with Scotland and other foreign powers, economic development and religion and then with Henry VIII again from 1509 to 1547, looking at character and aims, government, relationships with Scotland and other foreign powers, society, economic development, religion. Again, looking at the same themes across the two monarchs, so that that is the breadth study, being able to pick up on trends around the two uh, monarchs. Then when we get to year 13, this is the second part of the course, we look at turmoil and triumph. We look from 1547 to 1603, we have the instability of the Tudor crisis um, from 1547 to um, 1563 and it looks at Edward Somerset and Northumberland and Mary and her ministers. Then we go on to Elizabeth in 1563 to 1603 at the end of the Tudor dynasty, again looking at things that are similar um, across all of the monarchs, looking at social impacts, religious policies, foreign affairs, society, so that you can then draw across uh, themes of the whole module. Okay, moving on to component two then, this is the depth study. So we take uh, the, looking at Germany, uh, democracy and Nazism, and we're looking at a shorter period of time, but we're looking at it in greater depth. So in year 12, we focus on the Weimar Republic. So this is 1918 to 1933. We have a look at how the Weimar Republic was established post-World War I, uh, the impact the war had, the peace settlement, the Treaty of Versailles, and then the economic and social issues that came out of that. We then move on to have a look at the golden age of the Weimar Republic between 1924 and 1928. So the economic and social policy uh, developments of this um, and the political developments and the workings of democracy leading up to how Germany kind of came out of the cold with the international position. And then the collapse of democracy between 1928 and 1933. So how uh, the impact of the depression led to the rise of the Nazis and communists to eventually uh, Hitler's appointment as Chancellor in 1933. In year 13, we focus on Nazi Germany in more detail. So we have a look at the establishment of the Nazi dictatorship. Um, we consider the terror state and his economic policies, the racial state, so we cover anti-Semitism and the treatment of the Jews in the early years of the war. And then we have a look at the impact of the Second World War itself up to 1945 um, and uh, how propaganda, indoctrination and opposition and resistance as well is covered too. The third component then is the coursework element. So this is called the NEA, the Non-Examined Assessment. And it's basically instead of a piece of writing of between three and a half and four and a half thousand words, it's independently written and researched. Um, basically you're going to be investigating a theme or a topic and you need to draw on both primary and secondary sources relating to that development. Um, and look at the differing interpretations around it. It has to be a period of 100 years um, and it can't be a duplicate of what you covered in component 1 and 2. So it can't be anything to do with the Tudors um, or Nazi Germany, but other than that, kind of carte blanche in terms of what you can pick. So we've had uh, topics of the civil rights, suffrage, uh, even don't, don't back to the ancient Romans as well. Uh, there is an opportunity, hopefully, post-Covid, for some extracurricular trips. We go to Berlin. Uh, we've been to the theatre to see the new musical Six, um, and there's also an opportunity to go to Sheffield University to do some research for your NEA, so hopefully that will happen uh, next year when all this is over, but we'll have to see. Um, 
And then where can all this lead? Well, history A-levels are very highly sought after. History as a subject is very highly sought after. Those with history A-levels go on to study law, politics, archaeology, as well as history. It does not mean that you are going to become a history teacher, but the skills that you learn, such as reading academic texts, creating arguments, evaluating sources and making judgments, are all valuable skills in life. They're transferable across other subjects and uh, can stand you in really good stead for later life.